Do you believe that lying is wrong? Do you believe killing an innocent person is wrong? Is it possible that one day your brain could start thinking that lying is actually good? Yeah, it's possible. It is possible that even though you know for sure that this is wrong, you can trick your brain and change it into thinking that these things are actually right and good. Here is how this happens in our brain. When someone keeps doing something that they believe is wrong, but they still do it, a war begins in your brain. Shaitan is whispering to you to do it and your brain knows it's wrong, so it's resisting it. But then eventually this person mutes his brain, listens to the shaitan and does the wrong thing anyways. He keeps doing it, but the war keeps on going every time in his brain. This is wrong, but I want to do it. I did it. Do you think the brain or your body likes this war? No. It's very uncomfortable, icky, makes you feel guilty, like you are a bad person. Do you like that feeling? Feeling like a bad person? Of course not. It makes you feel miserable. So eventually, the brain and your body needs to find a way to stop this war. So either you will say, okay, that's it, no more, I'm ending this, I will not commit this sin ever again. And you will stop and finally be at peace with yourself. That's the best. But sometimes what will happen if you keep doing that thing, your brain will start to chain to stop this war. Yep. Shaitan will start to convince your brain that actually it's okay. You don't need to worry. Just calm down. It's actually not so bad what you are doing. Maybe I do this one bad thing, but there's so many other good things I do. There is no other way for me, so it's okay I did it. I did the bad thing, but it will save me from other bad things. I didn't have a choice. Everybody does it. It's only one more time I'm doing it. I had no other choice. I can't say no. Maybe it's not so bad. It's not hurting anybody. I am just this way. These are all excuses that shaitan is going to use to try to fool your brain into thinking that it's okay. You can continue doing this sin. Actually, this sin is good. And then eventually, slowly the shame and the bad feeling we have after doing something wrong starts going away. Because now there is nothing to feel bad about. Because you aren't even doing anything wrong. We have successfully fooled our brain. This is called cognitive dissonance in science. Scientists have studied this in human beings. This person will eventually start thinking that actually the bad thing they are doing is not even bad. It's actually good and halal and right to do it. Yep. And then it's easy for them to do it. No more war in the brain. He or she can just comfortably do it as if it's nothing. In the beginning, the first lie was a big deal. But now he just lies all the time without feeling any guilt. Because now they actually don't believe that lying is wrong. Someone who constantly bullies in the class might start thinking, it's just fun. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just having fun. They deserve it for dressing, dressing like that or for being short or whatever. It is as if their brain has been blinded. The brain can't even see or reason that it is wrong. The wrong now looks good. Isn't that a very dangerous position to be in for your heart and mind to be blinded? Allah tells us in the Quran, this is part of the punishment of someone who persisted in doing the wrong. So then finally, after Allah sent them so many warnings, they never stopped. He stops giving them the gift of guidance. 
He wasn't heeding the advice of the angels Allah sent them. So finally the angels went quiet. Now this person will have to suffer terrible consequences of their sins. Because remember, no matter how cool or fun the wrong path seems, when you betray Allah, that thing or that person will betray you and only cause you pain and humiliation. Can this person ever change now, now that their brain is so different? Yes, they can change. But the deeper they are in it, the harder it's going to be. Now they will have to go through the same war in order to change. And this time, the brain will resist the right thoughts, the right advice. It's going to be very hard, but it's not impossible. Just like in the beginning, after doing the bath thing, you felt uncomfortable and your body and your brain felt miserable. Now... The good thing is going to do that. Now the brain and the body will feel the same when you do the right thing. This may be happening to you. This has happened to me. This happens to all of us. In some big or sometimes small, tiny ways. That's why we have to be very careful and make sure we are always telling the truth and only the truth to ourselves. When you do a bad deed, that bad feeling you get is a gift. It tells you that you need to stop. Listen to it. Feel it. That will help you correct your course. Don't shut it off. Feel the pain. And then cry it out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. But if you try to stop feeling bad by giving these excuses, then soon you could end up blinding yourself. Shut the excuses. I did something wrong. That's it. No excuses. Crush those excuses. Don't be like Iblis who made excuses for his mistakes, who even blamed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his mistake. Rather be like Adam alayhi salam, your father, who owned his mistake. He made no excuses, no blaming, not even to shaitan who had whispered to him. And he turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. We have wronged ourselves. And if you do not forgive us, we will be of the losers. That's it. Instead of shaking that sin off like it's a fly on your shoulder, think of it like a mountain on you that you need to remove by stop doing it and asking Allah for forgiveness. The greater your pain, the more you cry in front of Allah and ask for forgiveness. And Allah has said, that not only will he forgive you, he will love you. You will rise even better than before. Being more closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah loves to forgive you if you turn back to him. Don't let the pain, the guilt and regret bury you. Unload it. Unload it with your tears in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaitan is trying to make you feel as if the sin is nothing. Study about that sin. How wrong is it? Stop him from fooling your brain. Mute his voice and the voice of his friends who are telling you it's nothing. Increase the volume of the angels whispering to you. Learn about that sin. Increase the volume of the people telling you that this is wrong. Immerse yourself into the Quran, into your salah and seek guidance about and learn about that sin. I want you to think about the mistakes that you are making or your friends are making. What kind of excuses do you see them making or you are making with yourself? And please share them in the comments below. What are those excuses and how we can crush them? So inshallah, your excuse, it might be that somebody reads some of the excuses that you mentioned and they might realize that, oh, I am doing that you would have changed somebody's life. So think about these and please comment below. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum.